Hello everybody, I'm Megan and you are watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am bringing you to a fabulous place for a day out. It's the perfect place to come for some beautiful photo opportunities. It's about 60 kilometers from Patia, so that's only about a 45 minute drive. Today we are here to check out the beautiful sunflower fields of Rayong. Just look at this, it's amazing. Arrival at Kolon Island, the boat will stop at either the Naban Pier or the popular Dawen Beach Pier. There is transportation readily available to take you around the island at both piers, including motorbike taxis and songtails, but the most convenient way is by renting a motorbike. With ample signing, it's easy to find your way around Kolon as it's only 4 kilometers long and 2 kilometers wide. It's well known for its many beautiful beaches, with the most popular beach being Dawen Beach. Dawen Beach is very popular with tourists, so it's usually quite busy. The beach is lined with shops, restaurants, bars and guest houses. A couple of minutes walk away, at the other side of Dawen Pier is the beautiful White Sand Sangwan Beach. This beach is a little quieter and more relaxing, with just one small beach bar. If you prefer the natural beauty of the beaches, they will be free of deck chairs every Wednesday. Just around the corner is Tien Beach. It's located a couple of hundred meters walk down a wooden bridge around the side of the rocky hill. This beach is more secluded from the rest and is very beautiful and picturesque. Next is the popular Sam Beach. This is the larger beach, perfect for a sandy stroll or jog. Food is readily available with restaurants lining the beach. Nuan Beach is also a great choice, located on the southern end of the island. This beach forms a natural cove and is a great place for snorkeling. 
Ba Yai Beach and Tong Lang Beach are located on the northern part of the island. There are also some great adventures to go on during your stay on the island, including climbing Kolon's highest hill. Be sure to wear comfortable footwear because there are lots of steps to climb, but once you reach the top, it will be all worthwhile when you're faced with the most beautiful 360 degree view of the whole island overlooking Pattaya. At the top of the hill, there are also many other things to see, such as the Guan Im statue, a big Buddha, shrines, and the sacred well with Buddha's footprint. If you're a real daredevil, you can also parasail from the top of the hill. So there are many things to do on the beautiful coral island of Koh Lan. With only a 40 minute boat ride from mainland, it's certainly a must visit place during your stay in Pattaya. Coming up next, Pattaya Mail, taking you on a road trip. With Easy ABC, you can quickly learn German, English, Russian or Thai in either our group or individual courses. We'll have you speaking Thai after only two months. Why not see for yourself with our free trial lesson? Google Easy ABC Patia. Easy ABC, your language school in South Patia and Naglua. Welcome to Easy ABC. Hello there, Jeff Carter here, still in Pattaya, Thailand. And I've come mooching again today and I've gone down Soy Ten off Pattaya Klang. And have a look what I've found. I call it the Golden Temple. Look at that! Wow! So there we have it, the Golden Temple as I call it. It's Soi Ten of Pattaya Klang or Central Pattaya Road in Pattaya. Well worth coming, ring some bells, bang the gong and take some photographs and some videos. Well worth a little trip out. Um, right, I'm off now, I've got things to do. So I'll see you all soon, bye bye.
Children en route to morning school in Pattaya Thai were caught up in a catastrophic car wreck brought on, we're told, by a local man who suffered from epilepsy. At least two died and dozens needed treatment when his pickup careered out of the lane into pedestrians and motorcyclists. Police revealed yesterday that the driver, the son of a Walking Street bar operator, had passed a breathalyzer. No reports on drug or blood testing. However, he's admitted that he was being treated for epilepsy. The 44-year-old first struck another outside Tutcom, then sped along towards Third Road, where three to four hundred meters later he smashed into other vehicles. There are no laws specific to licensing of an epileptic here. However, the Criminal Code, Section 59, determines that any epileptic who drives despite the knowledge of his or her epilepsy should be considered as having committed an act of negligence, since he or she didn't exercise sufficient care expected from an epileptic person. According to that law, subsequent casualties should be the full responsibility of the driver. It's not known whether the driver was leaving work, but a lack of sleep is known to be a direct contributor to fitting in epileptics. Either way, it's likely that he will be charged with causing death through negligence. In other news, police have confiscated illicit drugs with a retail value of more than 2 billion baht after one courier, arrested along with 10 million meth tablets, squealed on his competitor, leading to another 10 million tablet raid within a fortnight. Both are now said to be supplying police with long lists of suppliers and customers in an attempt to see a small reduction in what promises to be a life sentence or worse. Tourists, along with locals, risk a jail term plus fines if they step into national parks with alcoholic beverages. This is the Wildlife Authorities issued a reminder of existing regulations that prohibit drinking in public parkland, which of course includes waterfalls and areas of beauty. The rule, which can see a 1,000 baht fine or a month in jail, is set to be strictly enforced. In other local news, good news for food lovers as we finally get an English-style Chinese food outlet from the boys at Retox. Walk This Way opens this weekend. After weeks of trialling dishes via their other food outlets, we're told that the chef has experience in British chinkies and promises affordable dishes, so it's worth a try. TM30 forms and information as to how and when they're needed are on our website, fabulous103.com as we continue with the campaign to advise non ties on the regulations regarding staying in accommodation that is not a hotel, specific to guests, paying or not, and to residents in condos or houses. Non-compliance is now seeing many fined. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 32, dropping down to 22 tonight, and another overcast day. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia. The City of Fun. And the header is in for Manchester City to win it. And Kevin Lee beautifully worked and superbly finished. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Andy Barwell at the BBC Sports Centre. Fresh from their 3-1 win over Arsenal on Saturday, Manchester United turn their attention to Europe and the Champions League. They take on the Russian side, CSKA Moscow, on Tuesday. United need a point to reach the knockout stage. Jose Mourinho is expected to pick the midfield player Paul Pogba, who's suspended in the Premier League after getting sent off against Arsenal. He's very happy to play tomorrow. It's the next match, the match that matters. He plays tomorrow, of course, a bit, a bit tired because uh, it was a huge match on the last weekend and just two days to recover for CSK. But very happy to play tomorrow and, and to try to keep his momentum because since, since he was back from injury, he's being phenomenal. Well, United decided not to appeal against Paul Pogba's red car. The French midfielder will now serve a three-match suspension, starting with Sunday's game against top-of-the-table Manchester City. Crystal Palace have announced plans to redevelop their Selhurst Park Stadium and increase the capacity to 34,000. Chairman Steve Parrish says the new ground is important, but Premier League survival is crucial. Relegation is a, a fact of life. The three teams are going to get relegated every year. You know, we've got to try and make our plans around that. It's a very difficult challenge and a unique challenge for Premier League football clubs. What other business will turn over probably over 140 million, 150 million in three years' time after relegation? That would go down to around 20. So, you, you know, as a football club, you have to have one eye on that.
And the draw's been made for the third round of the FA Cup. There are going to be three all Premier League ties, headed by a Merseyside derby with Liverpool facing Everton. Brighton and Hove Albion will meet Crystal Palace. Manchester City will play Burnley, while the cup holders Arsenal go to second-tier Nottingham Forest. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, fabulous food. We are Bubble Spa Patio, promising affordable relaxation in your own home anytime you choose. Located on Teprisit Road, opposite the Outlet Mall. Coming up next on Fabulous TV Patia. La Costa by L'Italiano is a stunningly beautiful Italian restaurant offering traditional pizzas, pastas, and authentic Italian cuisine, alongside fresh seafood and the best dishes from Thailand, too. Twelve years in Pattaya, La Costa by L'Italiano promises an outstanding lunch or dinner experience. Find us on Beach Road at the front of the LK Empress Hotel next to Soy 12. Check us out on Facebook, La Costa by L'Italiano, Pattaya's premier Italian restaurant. Twenty minutes to twelve o'clock this fabulous Monday morning, and it is time for the very first universally challenged competition of the week. Lovely. Our two regular contestants geeing up to get themselves all warmed up to see if they can come up with the answer. <laughs> Representing the Golden Mile without a smile is Megan the Midget this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't get a lower cut top, could you? <laughs> <laughs> and Dark Side Denny, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Can't take your eyes off her, can you? <laughs> That's, That's right. the whole Let's point. Let's not go there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you know the score by now. We're going to give you the cryptic clue to our featured artist. One of these two, maybe, uh, will solve the cryptic clue. I'm changing it now as I speak. <gasps> no, I just had to. No, I'm keeping it's it... It's cheating. Uh, uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, just making it a bit harder, actually, for different reasons. Meaning. And uh, what we have to ask our contestants, first of all, is what is your buzzer going to be today, Megan? It's my week. Ah. Mm. Denny, what's yours going to be? Buzz. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be my buzzing week. <laughs> really, isn't it? OK, are you ready? This is it. Yes. To see who starts the week as a winner. 
Brummies who rode on a toboggan. What? <laughs> Brummies who rode on a toboggan. This is so easy. Somebody's already sent me the answer. Brummies who rode on a toboggan. Do, 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 do. Tommy is a winner. Dear Lord. Oh, God. I'm not, I'm not going to get this. So you I put the clock on. You have to turn the clock it, on. Uh, um, toboggan. Buzz. What's a toboggan? <laughs> Danny Jackson. Percy Sledge. Oh, you are so close. Sugar. Oh, Megan, do you want to have a go? <laughs> Let me ask you Boyzone. something. What is another word? <laughs> I'm trying to help you, boys. Oh, oh he's no. helping you. He never helps me. No, she's given oh, an answer now. Okay. Think about this. Now it's too late. You're both losers. Right, think about this. The beginning of the clue is Brummies, right? Mm. Which means... Birmingham. Birmingham people. Right, there we go. Who rode on a toboggan. What's, What's another... Toboggan? Sledge. Yes, oh, but they sleigh. rode... Huh? Sleigh. They Sleigh. rode. Not riding, they rode. It's in the past. Uh, slaying. Sledging. Sl- Our featured Sledge. artist today is, of course, Slade. You lot are absolutely pathetic, aren't you? Sir? Coming up next, Fit and Fabulous, your daily one minute workout. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenky is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. You're walking down the street and suddenly you're attacked. What would you do? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a perfect form of martial arts for women to train because it can be very helpful in self-defense. Good afternoon, Megan, and welcome to the White Lotus Muay Thai Gym, located at 313 Training Studio. Today's lesson is going to be in Jiu-Jitsu, but both street application and also the sport application. What I plan to do is to show you one technique that would get you out of a lot of trouble in many different situations. It's called Ogoshi. It's a hip throw, very, very commonly used in Jiu-Jitsu and Judo and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, throwing over the hip. You start with A, a collar grip, perfect. B, the sleeve grip, three fingers is perfect. From here, you lead in to the center of the person's foot. Underhook, placing the palm in between the shoulders. Turning so your hips are square, feet together, lift, turn, and throw. Done. So, starting off, collar grip, super, cuff grip, and I will mirror. Three, two, one, go. Coming up next, find out what's happening in the city before it happens, so you can be there, not just read about it afterwards.
<laughs> Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Every Sunday out at Bangsaray Beach Club, indulge in a delicious Sunday roast while admiring the beautiful views of Bangsaray Bay. On the beachfront at the Bangsaray Beach Club, you can enjoy this meal for just 350 baht per plate and desserts start at 75. Available every Sunday, kicking off at 1. An excuse to enjoy the beach while watching sports this year? Head down to John Tien Beach on the 7th through to the 10th of December to see the Thai Airways-sponsored International Jet Ski World Cup 2017. Three days of exciting competitions in spectacular entertainment with top jet ski riders from around the world competing for the cup, something that you won't want to miss. It's the biggest jet ski tournament in the world and it's taking place right here in Pattaya City. Why not enjoy a romantic evening under the stars while sipping on fine wines from the Monsoon Valley Winery? That's all taking place at the Sala Rim Nam restaurant at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road on Friday the 8th of December. Running from 7 until 9.30, the evening is priced at only 999 baht per person and promises to be an outstanding event. Something for golfers as we invite you to hit the road and join the Outback Bar golfing team. That's on their Kanchanaburi golfing trip. A fun excursion playing the fantastic Nikanta course, two rounds of golf at Grand Prix and a round at the Army course, as well as a bit of exploring history for the Second World War and a cruise on the River Kwai. Four nights, four rounds from the 12th to the 16th of December. For details, contact the Outback Bar on Soy Siam Country Club Road for more information. A day not to be missed is the Take Care Kids Fun Day down at the Sea Falcon Hotel. A fun day out for the whole family with a free barbecue supplied by Nikki's Restaurant onto Bouncy Castle, face painting and a magic show. Funds raised all go to a good cause, the abused children at the Take Care Kids Foundation. That starts at midday on Saturday the 16th of December.